Uh, I have a book coming out, or it's actually out. You can buy it on Amazon. I don't have copies yet. I'll have them in a week or two, but it's called Duke and Jill. It's about someone very much like Big Mike. <laughs> Probably, there's some truth to that. This is the first story, Duke and Jill. Duke and Jill do drugs. They live on the corner of Avenue A and 10th Street in a mostly burnout building. Duke is originally from Wisconsin. Jill is from Wisconsin, too. They don't have much else in common. <laughs> Bad things keep happening to them. Their best friend, a junkie, no. But their best friend, a junkie, rents a truck, backs it up over the curb, kicks in their apartment door, and takes all their stuff. The TV, the stereo, even their beat-up sofa. He knows he'll be out getting loaded in a neighborhood bar trying to score some coke. In fact, they're waiting for him to show up with some reasonable blow. Duke is pissed. He buys a gun, a 38 caliber used, but still workable from a guy he knows on the street. Duke and Jill don't fight much the next couple of weeks. She doesn't trust him not to shoot her if the going gets too hot, so things chill out for a while. One night, Duke is sitting around getting loaded. In that condition, he hears a banging on the hastily repaired door. He gets his gun and tucks it into his belt and opens the door, unbolting a newly installed double bar police lock. The guy at the door turns out to be a friend, a member of a crypto-punk band he likes a lot. Wow, you got a gun, the friend says. Yeah, but it's not loaded, Duke replies. Points the gun at the ceiling and pulls the trigger. The hammer clicks. Just keep it around a scared Jill. Keep her in line, he laughs. Actually, I got it to blow away the scumbag who stole our stuff. If I ever see his ass in the neighborhood, he's gone. Man, let me see that thing, his friend says. Excited by the unusual toy. Points the gun at a boarded-up window and pulls the trigger. The hammer clicks again. He giggles and aims the gun at his temple. Deer hunter, he says, and pulls the trigger. A bright flash of boring sound bounces around the nearly empty room, stunning Duke and momentarily blinding him. After the police leave, Jill calls all their friends to tell them the news. She has to shout to be heard above the sound of Duke vacuuming the dried blood of their shag carpet. Thank you. Ooh.